name is Albert Leach and today I'm going to do an instructional video on how to operate a TomTom -Tom 2405 GPS unit. So let's get started with our parts. Our parts are as follows. You have your windshield mount, your power cord, and you have your GPS. We're going to start by plugging our power cord into our accessory unit. After plugging our unit into our accessory plug, we're then going to put the other end in our GPS unit. And you will know it's powered on by the amber curled light that you see here. Okay, the power button is also the amber and green light that we talked about earlier. So to get started, you're going to hold this for about two seconds. Okay, now that the unit is powered on, we're waiting for it to acquire a signal. For those of you who don't know, GPS looks for 4 to 25 or more satellites orbiting the Earth to acquire a signal. Now that our unit has acquired a signal from the satellite, we are ready to start our navigation. So as you see here, we have navigate to, so you would touch that, and it's going to take you forward to the, the next screen. On this screen, you see home, favorite, address, point of interest. Um, for safety features, if you ever program one for home, never put your address in, just put your city in. And favorites are places you visit most of the time, recent destination, but the one I use the most is address because I'm always going different places. So you would touch address. And for our video today, we're going to use uh, Full Sail University's address. Now we're going to program our city in, but first we need to look in the right corner in the green space you see it's programmed for NC so what we're going to do is press that so we can get Florida in so we're going to hit F and of course Florida comes up so once you see Florida you touch Florida and the next thing you're ready for it takes you to your next screen to decide which city so as you see I've already had Winter Park plugged in so but if Winter Park wasn't there, what you would do is go W, I, N, and it would start naming up the cities T until you get to Winter Park. So you press that. And uh, next you want the uh, address or the street that you're looking for. So of course we know it's University Boulevard. So you're going to say U, N, and here's University Boulevard. Your house number is 33 number, or building number, or street number, which is already programmed in here. So we're going to press 3300 and OK. OK, the next screen shows us that uh, it's like double checking to make sure everything is punched in correctly. So we have 3300 University Boulevard, Winter Park, Florida. So if all that looks good, so we're going to press select. So now we come to the point where we decide which route. Shortest route usually takes us through a lot of cities and stuff. Economy I've never used, but uh, it's supposed to say fuel economy. Not sure about that, but you also have walking routes, bicycle route, and the fastest route, which usually keeps us on the main highway. So we're going to select fastest. Okay. Once we do that, it's going to analyze the roads, come up with an address for us. Okay, um, everything looks good. It's telling me it's going to take me 8 hours, 35 minutes with a 6 minute delay. This particular unit has uh, traffic on it. And it also lets me know 584 miles. So then I will click done. And it is ready to uh, navigate us toward Winter Park, Florida from North Carolina.
Okay, so since we have a destination and our GPS, that ends my presentation, all except for a few safety rules. Number one, never program a GPS while you are driving. And number two, never tr completely trust a GPS because they may lead you on the wrong road and sometimes roads aren't programmed into your particular model. But I hope you have enjoyed my instructional video and I hope you have learned how to operate a TomTom -tom GPS.